What's up everybody, Jesse here with VMP Performance and today we're going to talk about bypass valves. Now there's two types of bypass valves we use here with our superchargers. We're going to go through the standard option and then we're going to go over the low vacuum bypass valve that you're going to see on vehicles with big cams. So what does a bypass valve actually do? We've got an example here for you on the bench. This is our Gen 3R head unit. You can see our bypass valve is mounted on the side of the supercharger attached to the shaft which operates a butterfly valve in the supercharger itself. Now we're gonna to move to a quick animation and show you how this all operates. With the engine at idle, you're going to close the diaphragm which opens the butterfly valve and bypasses boost. Now at wide open throttle, it'll close the butterfly valve and create boost. So now that you've seen the standard operation of our bypass valve, we're gonna go over our low vacuum bypass valve. We've got two examples here on the bench with our standard and our low vacuum. You can see there are some modifications done to it. So if you receive one with this nipple gone, that is on purpose. So this low vacuum bypass has a much lower diaphragm pressure, which means that lower engine vacuum can operate it much easier. You'll see lower engine vacuum with a set of cams. Now with the lower diaphragm pressure, it's gonna be easier to move the bypass valve, it's gonna operate the same way except we're gonna boost reference it instead of attaching it to the inlet. All right, hopefully that's cleared up any questions you have about bypass valves. If you're interested in a low vacuum bypass valve for your setup, be sure to give our sales and support line a call. We'd be glad to go over your build with you. And as always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook.